In the past four years, there has been a 54% increase in reported homelessness in Orange County alone. From January 2013 to January of 2017, the count of unsheltered homeless people grew from 1,678 to 2,584. From our own personal experiences as Anaheim residents and from areas of high crime, we find through our community map which can typically be linked in areas with a high population of homeless. We looked into the causes for homelessness in Orange County and compared the statistics of our homeless population to that of Orange County. Turning to our community members, we found that a few agreed that there is still an issue with the homeless population in Anaheim that could be improved. They made suggestions such as building homeless shelters to both improve the lives of the homeless and potentially create new jobs for the people of Anaheim. While researching this topic, we found that there are currently 906 unsheltered homeless people living on the streets of Anaheim, California, and Orange County, or 35% of all unsheltered homeless in the Orange County, which consists of 4,452 people, and at the state level, California has a total of 100. 15,738,000 homeless people, according to the Anaheim.net website. This led us to ask, has the city of Anaheim done enough to improve the homelessness issue in the community and what can be done to maximize the effectiveness at which they help the homeless population? And our supporting questions whose further our research included, one, what is currently being done to fix this issue and what can be improved? Two, are there any shelters in Anaheim? Three, what resources do homeless people and people on the verge of becoming homeless have access to? Four, what was the percentage of homeless people in previous years? How does it compare to now? And five, how has homelessness affected the city's physical attributes and local areas? Since January 2014, 892 homeless people have been helped off off the streets of Anaheim and placed in a housing or reunited with family with a 90% retention rate. Anaheim is also home to two affordable housing communities with rent voucher assistance from the city's housing authority, according to the Anaheim.net website. Twice weekly, the city's nonprofit partner, CityNet, and homeless outreach officers from the Anaheim Police Department contact those in the homeless, offering case and management services and a path to housing. Operated by the Mercy Housing Living Centers, Bridges at Kramer places a 24-hour emergency homeless shelter facility in the city of Anaheim that serves single women and men. The shelter's focus is to create a housing plan and ending their homelessness as soon as possible. The shelter initially started out with 100 beds to accommodate 200 men and women, but with the recent events of clearing out the Santa Ana River Trail, they opened up more beds. Everyone who applies to stay at the shelter must be 18 years or older, so no children are allowed to stay. All prospective clients are to be screened for felony warrants, and if accepted to stay, their goal is to get everyone situated in a living space as soon as possible, but the maximum stay is 180 consecutive days. While this shelter is located in Anaheim, it's open for residents of the North Orange County area. Mercy Housing also operates the Homeless Prevention Program, which provides aid to families and individuals who are at risk of becoming homeless due to a financial crisis by providing clients with short-term rental assistance and ongoing case management that includes money management and household budget education to allow households to maintain a level of self-sufficiency and remain housed after financial assistance has been expended. We found many other resources our city and county provides to those in need, ranging from financial assistance, temporary shelters, and mental health assistance, which forced us to change the way we started to approach this situation. Instead of asking what is being done and what we can add, we asked, are people aware of the amount of different kinds of assistance that could be received from their city when faced by a financial crisis? How can we help people receive this information, whether it be for themselves or for people in our community? We wanted to help those in our community by reaching out and sharing our findings through social media, through surveys, and through our daily conversations. To begin, we created infographics and shared them through social media to reach as many people as we could. Through these infographics, we aim to shock and inform our community members with devastating facts of the rise in our homeless population and hopefully encourage them to take action on their own. Additionally, we created an informational blog which included all of the previous information noted from the rise in homelessness, the programs available, and the shelters available to those most in need, and shared it through social media. We also included additional information on other foundations and programs, such as the Illumination Foundation, which partners with Anaheim to run the Homeless Assistance Pilot Program and Chronically Homeless Individuals Pilot Program. The Homeless Assistance Pilot Program started in 2015 and aims to help homeless Anaheim families and Anaheim schools connect with services and housing. The Chronically Homeless Individuals Pilot Program started in 2017 and helps connect Anaheim's most vulnerable chronically homeless with services and housing. 
There are also more than 100 nonprofits and other groups doing weekly outreach in Anaheim. There is also different groups and organizations that are in Anaheim helping with the homelessness problems. One program is Pathway of Hope. Pathway of Hope aims through a faith-based community effort of prevention and support services to build self-sufficiency and end hunger and homelessness for families and individuals in need. For, for over 40 years, Pathways of Hope has been providing food, traditional living, and support and prevention services to the hungry, homeless, and marginalized through assistance of local congregations, volunteers, businesses, and grants from foundations and government agencies. There is a pathway of hope that is located in Anaheim but open to other residents. We also created a survey in which we sent out to the student body here at Laura asking about their opinions on the homelessness issue in our community and whether or not they knew of the existence of these preventative programs previously mentioned and aid available to those in need. Unfortunately though, we have not received any responses to our survey at this time, so we were unsuccessful in our attempt to reach out to our peers in this format. To conclude, we weren't able to make any significant changes to the way Anaheim deals with this homeless population, but we were able to successfully inform multiple others who may be facing homelessness or know of others who are in a desperate situation about the options they have and the programs implemented by the city that can help them get back onto their feet.